Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to talk about RestoreX. This is the newest traction device for Peyronie's disease, and it is also the most popular and possibly the most controversial because the study on it showed that men only had to use it for 30 to 90 minutes a day to get very good results. They had an average of a 28% reduction in curvature or a 17 degree reduction in curvature after three months, while other traction devices require many more hours for example, um, the Peony Master Pro, the study actually showed better results than RestoreX, so that's important to note. However, that required at least four hours of use a day to get the same results or better. So that's very incredible, and a lot of guys have been buying it uh, for that reason, despite the fact that it's very expensive. It is $500. But this device, I want to make very clear, I think it is not a traction device. It is what I personally would consider a counter-bending device, and it is the only device that allows you to do this. So you basically put your penis through here. I have scarring at the bottom side of my penis, so I wear it like this, put my penis through, clamp it in, rotate it 90 degrees, and extend it out, and it gives me a very good stretch on the, the scarred area. So the reason why this is so effective is because, uh, supposedly, because of this counter bending. And Dr. Trost, who invented it, he says that men uh, have the best results at 90 degrees or more, okay? So it's really about the counter bending. And I would say that if you want to use it straight out, um, I don't have the longer bars here, but um, you can get longer bars <clears throat> or I think it comes with longer bars now. But uh, I would say that if you're going to wear it as a standard traction device, I would say it might actually be the worst traction device for that. So in, in my mind, it's kind of the worst and the best traction device. Because, you know, I, I've tried wearing it like this many times, and it's just not comfortable, and it does not hold very well. And I'll talk about this part here, my biggest criticism, uh, later after I praise it. I, I really do like this device, and I'm going to praise it, but... Um, this part really does not clamp well or hold your glands in for a straight stretch. And I would say it's not ideal for that. I mean, it might work, and if you can get it to really feel good, that's great, but I personally cannot get a very good stretch like that. And I think if you're going to use this device, you might, you probably should be using it for the counter bending because that's what's making it effective. So, so what do I think about this device? Um, I'll tell you, I had my serious doubts about this just due to the nature of the study. The study was done at Mayo Clinic, which is great, but that's also where it was invented. That's where Dr. Trost works. And in the study, they, you know, ask the men, like, you know, was this, do you prefer Re RestoreX over other devices? And they kind of try to really, you know, uh, really compare it to other devices. So at first I was kind of like, yeah, is this really that effective? But upon using it, guys, I will tell you that it gives me a stretch like nothing else I've ever felt before, and it feels amazing. And other men I've talked to who own the device, they say the same thing. The stretch feels very, very good. And I'm telling you, I put it on, and I was like, I was almost kind of shocked. It was like stretching a muscle I haven't ever stretched before. It was like, ah, like, I kind of felt like this is this is what I've always needed, you know? Um, and I'm not even trying to sell this, but that's how it felt. It felt like I, I really had needed this. And it really helped open up the scarred area of my penis. And really, honestly, even after just 10 minutes, even just 10 minutes or less, it makes the bottom side of my penis, the scarred area, just feel more whole and more healthy. It feels very good. I'm very, very impressed with this despite all the negative comments on it. Um, on Amazon, I'm sure you've seen the comment where somebody called it a medieval torture device. And you know people have been um, criticizing it because it's not very comfortable. And I'll talk about that in a moment. I would say it's the most fussy traction device I know of. It also slips very easily. Um, you know, really, I think it's the first of its kind. And I truly hope they improve this because it's, I would say it's very crude but it's the only device that really has this counterbending function, and that counterbending is just incredible in my opinion. So, you know, and the thing is, is, you know, guys on the forum, on the Peyronie's forum, they've reported good results with this. Um, some guys have, uh, you know, yeah, they've definitely restored um, indentations and kind of um, straightened their penis with this. 
over time, but um, a lot of guys that I've talked to actually haven't gotten results from this, and that might not be the fault of Restorex. That might just be that they're not responding to traction for whatever reason. Uh, three men I've talked to, um, they have they used this for at least three months and got uh, uh, basically no results whatsoever. So that might just be for other reasons, but I'm just um, letting you guys know. But I do think that this device is incredible. I do think that the stretch is amazing. When I do that 90 degree um, counter bending or more, right under here on the bottom side of my penis, it really, really feels good. It feels incredible. And my penis hangs very naturally after I use it. And I'll tell you, my erections have been quite good as well. Now, you know, just traction in general always makes my erections feel better always so it might not just be Restorex but I'll tell you there's something different about it you guys know I prefer traction by hand please do that at your own risk and be very careful that has not been studied but if I could choose between Restorex Peony Master Pro or another device or just hand I would only do traction by hand I still prefer that and I think it's more effective and I've heard other men say the same thing they kind of stopped using a device and went back to just traction by hand for a number of reasons. Now again, please be careful and do that at your own risk. But that said, again, if you can afford it, I think this device is um, really unique, incredible, and it gives you a stretch that you're not going to be able to get otherwise, at least very easily. Okay, so that's the good points about it. I really, you know, I'm very thankful to Dr. Trost for inventing this. I'm so happy about it. Uh, in fact, I even got a little bit emotional just thinking about this and, you know, wishing I would have had this 10 years ago or, you know, wishing my dad when he was first diagnosed with Peyronie's, I wish he could have had this or a lot of the other older guys with Peyronie's. Um, it just kind of excites me. It makes me very happy to see new uh, innovations to, to treat this disease. It's great. So, you know, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Trost, for inventing this. I, I absolutely love it. And guys... Um, yeah, so, so I do like this a lot, and I'm going to criticize it now a little bit. <laughs> Besides the fact that it, it can't really be used as a straight-out traction device, um, I just want to tell you, yes, it's very fussy, and this clamp is the reason, okay? So this clamp is very crude. It's just plastic, and you put your glands in here, okay, like this. And as you can see, you can adjust it here a little bit on this side, but this side you can only adjust twice. There's only two heights. This is the highest height. And I have to have it like this to get my glands in here. And then I can barely even clamp it down. My, maybe my glands is just a little bit too big for this. But basically what happens is this side is sticking up more than this side. And I have to kind of shove my glands as I'm using it kind of over to keep it in. Um, once in a while possibly, you know, not always. But it, it's just not, um, it doesn't feel natural or ideal because ideally you could adjust both sides and have more options because I really don't have many options once my glance is in here. I can, get, I can just get at the first tooth, basically. Um, and a lot of guys experience slip, slipping out and um, it really crushes your glands. And you know, I would say once you get it down and find the right setting, it's very comfortable. I, I could wear it for an hour and not really have any discomfort. So I, I find it comfortable and I'll show you how I actually do that. Um, I actually use gauze to make it stay in. Um, and I can just show you now, but basically I use this kind of white gauze here that is soft and I wrap that um, halfway, I, I tear a piece off and wrap it halfway up my glands. And then I use sticky gauze that sticks to itself. And I wrap that also halfway up my glands. And then I can keep my penis in here for a half hour or even longer, okay? And that's been just fine. That has been comfortable. I can't complain. But there are still days when I really struggle to put on this gauze. And I'll tell you, if you struggle from getting an erection or partially filled out when doing traction, this is, this is the worst. Um, it will really make it hard to put your penis in here. It makes it impossible and I, you just want to give up. So whereas a Peony Master Pro, having your glands filled out a little bit is actually beneficial to keeping it being locked in there. But this is kind of different, okay? So this is very fussy. And, you know, the other day, I did spend a half hour just trying to get my glands to stay in for some reason, even after, you know, I thought I had mastered it. Now, you can just put your glands directly in here, and that's how you're supposed to do it, without any gauze. 
and in many cases it will stay in, uh, but mine slowly slips out. I know, um, you know, one thing you should do is make sure your penis is very clean, like maybe even just take a shower first, that can make it kind of stick in here better. One member on the forum recommends a certain type of soap you can put on your penis, but I don't think the 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 uh, makers would recommend that. But, uh, you know, yeah, I would say just putting your glands in just like this, it's going to slip a little bit. But I'll tell you, even if your glands is slipping out slowly over that 30-minute period and you have to keep on resetting it, um, I don't think that would be an issue because, again, the counterbending is so powerful that even if you have to reset it every 5-10 minutes, you're still getting this amazing stretch that normal traction just isn't really giving you. So I don't mind, guys, you know, and I, I understand it is frustrating, and these three men I've talked to, at least three men I've talked to who, who have the device, you know, they've gotten very frustrated with this, they've wanted to throw it away or just give it away, you know, um, some people really think it's not very nice because of this, it's about the clamp, the clamp is really crude, so in the future, you know, I really hope they have more adjustments on both sides, this side, you know, um, and also this side, so you can really um, make sure you get a good clamp that's not going to hurt you. Other than that, I'm not really going to criticize it much. Yes, it's not a good straight out traction device, and I personally do not think it replaces the PD Master Pro or traction by hand. So if I had to recommend one thing to you, again, I'm not a urologist and do it at your own risk, but I recommend traction by hand. But if I had to recommend this or the PD Master Pro, I would recommend the Peony Master Pro likely just because it's more, it's easier to use possibly and more reliable. Now, my, my opinion might change, okay? And I realize that vacuum extenders, ha vacuum extenders have their own, um, you know, downsides. For example, maybe you don't want your glands to be, um, to get at all like, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to get your, have your glands get larger or you don't want to have any swelling or something in your glands. In that case, then go for this one, okay? If you if you don't um, want to use a vacuum extender, go for this. But still, yeah, it doesn't quite replace regular traction in my opinion. Personally, I think that traction by hand plus this is very effective. And I've been using this for a little bit and then afterwards doing traction by hand, that feels very, very good. But again, I think just for, for now, I'm going to stick with recommending Peony Master Pro. And yes, I'm not a urologist. So please ask your specialist, okay? Um, and just make your own choice. So that's it, guys. But let me know if you have questions in the comments. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled with this device. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know your experience. I'm very curious what you think. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll uh, talk to you very soon.